If you guys love playing daily fantasy sports, make sure to use code Bengal at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on NCAA 14 Team Builder Dynasty featuring the Ozark State Outlaws. I do apologize. This is a post -com. I recorded the entire thing in live commentary and I didn't enable the microphone. I'm doing a new style of recording, so really screwed up. So I apologize. I'm going to try to make it as exciting as possible. I appreciate all of the support on this series so far. It's been incredible. You guys asked for it. I'm following through. The Outlaw. Chris Outlaw will be our new kick and punt returner. As you can see, vote for Pedro, the god. Pedro Goddard is closing in on that top 10 for passing yards in the NCAA. Also, if you have suggestions for playbooks, either offensively or defensively, make sure to leave them down in the comments section below. I'd be more than happy to consider them. Maybe run them in the next episode. Unfortunately, the polka dot prints Coach Bengus Khan is not in attendance today with the rain coming down heavily at Dual Field. One user in the comment section dubbed it the saloon, so shout out to him. But yeah, the rain's coming down, so Bengus Khan's in a jacket and no polka dot shirt. I'm actually very disappointed as Chris Outlaw takes his first ever kick return, and he has a pretty good one. Shattering the previous Ozark State record by Ron Norman of like eight yards or so. Ron Norman definitely the slowest player in not only all of college football but just any college i mean even like even a, a guy in a wheelchair at a community college is faster than ron norman probably by a lot as goddard sits back in the pocket and finds receiver karan kirkpatrick number one in the field and number one in your heart goddard dropping back again finding muller we don't throw to him too often but ryan muller gonna pick up the first down goddard read option handoff to darren maxwell who gets into the end zone for a 10-yard gain. The Ozark State Outlaws, guns blazing, dual wielding, anything we can do to get in the end zone. And the Outlaws are on the board early, 7-zip, as Patterson and the Howlers take over. And Patterson finds Golden down the sideline. We can't wrap up. I'm so bad at tackling, it's not even funny. And another broken tackle. And all the way to the end zone is Keith Golden. Really, we're going to let a guy named Keith go for 77 on us. Unbelievable, but it is third and seven play action. Got her trying to throw, and it is knocked down at the offensive line, and we will punt. Howlers have it back now. Handoff goes to Coles, but it's Colt 45, Colt Nash in there for the tackle. We're going to change Colt Nash number 245 to meet his new nickname as Hubbard has nowhere to go. Fourth and one for the Howlers getting aggressive. Pitch goes to Coles. Watts can't wrap up. And Coles is giving us problems early. Kevin Coles, 10-yard gain as Patterson goes to the read option. There's a good block. And Clay Patterson, 16-yard gain on the read option. First and goal now for the Howlers, facing pressure. But he finds Burdett Williams outside for the touchdown. Burdett? What is Burdett? Someone explain to me what Burdett is, because I know it's not a first name as Chris Outlaw will return another one. He'll get to the outside with room and good speed, but he is wrapped up from behind after a 33-yard pickup. Got her thrown for the screen. It's Karan Kirkpatrick making a nice cut to the outside, showcasing the wheels, and again, number one. Picks up a huge gain, showing why he is number one wide receiver on the depth chart. Second and eight now for Goddard. Throwing outside for somebody outside the stadium, maybe? Because I don't know who that was to at all. Third and eight for Goddard. He finds Ryan Muller again. Someone we don't throw the ball to that often, but they're definitely helping us out with the first down. Goddard this time, read option. He'll take it himself and pick up the first down. Russell down from behind after a six yard pickup. Now Maxwell in motion. Goddard will throw over the middle and it's the true freshman. Roland Francisco for the touchdown. It's a six yard gain for six points and the Ozark State Outlaws tie it up at 14. After going out to an early lead, losing the lead, we have tied it up and maybe we'll take back the lead at some point. That would be fantastic. Now the FCS East Howlers will take over and it goes to Coles. 
He's not going to go down by Blankenship. And he'll stiff arm down the sideline, picking up 19. Patterson in the shotgun, empty, facing pressure, and down he goes. Getting some pressure, love to see it. It's Byron Fulton on the defensive back. Bliss picking up the sack, third and 16. Patterson has all sorts of time, but it runs out. He's sacked again on third down. It's Lightning McQueen, ka -chow! Rory McQueen with the big sack. And Chris Outlaw this time will return a punt, his first punt return. And he has some great speed to the outside. The fastest guy on our entire roster. Can't get past the punter, wrestled down from behind, trying to make a miss. But that is a great setup, great field positioning for the Outlaws. Got it over the middle. It's the tight end, Jake Rodriguez, 22 yards down the middle of the field. The Outlaws are moving it in this showdown versus the Outlaws. Got it over the middle for Rodriguez again. Can't find him. Misses him inside. You got to hit that, Pedro. You got to hit it, and we are not going for it. We're going to settle for the field goal attempt. And thankfully to you guys in the comments, I actually now know how to kick field goals. You got to use the right stick to angle it. I've been playing NCAA since like, oh, what, 8, oh, 09, something like that. I never knew about angling the, the, uh, the, uh, the right stick when you kick. So now I know I'll actually be able to hit some field goals. I haven't known that ever as Patterson takes a read option. He has all types of space. Good speed from Clay Patterson. He's a problem. He's definitely faster than anyone on our defense. So I hate to see that. Except for maybe Chris Outlaw. Patterson takes it again. McQueen tackles him. He's going to fall forward for a lot. Now the handoff to Hubbard. He's going to continue to push forward. What is going on? Our defense is so bad. I know the Outlaws are known for gunslinging. With guns blazing. Our defense hasn't been there. But Patterson is sacked again. This time it is Colt 45. Colt Nash. Love to see it as Coles will take it. Break a few tackles, but inevitably lose a few yards. And it does face third and goal from the 14. Patterson just dumping it off. And the Howlers will settle for a field goal. Try to tie it up before half. Minute 45 to play. I think we can get back on the board. You know, score again. Manage the clock. Lead us into halftime. We got a minute and 38 to do so. Got it out of the shotgun. Firing for Karan Kirkpatrick over the middle. That will move the chains. 11 yards for number one to pick up a fresh set of downs. Got it again thrown over the middle. This time it's a tight end. Jake Rodriguez. 23 yards on the pickup. Back-to-back -back catches now for Jake Rodriguez. Over 20 yards as in first and 10. Finding Rodriguez again. And he can't go through him. How can our big tight end, basically a huge linebacker play in tight end, not ball through him. He's like Rob Gronkowski. But we find the backup tight end now in Gabriel Timmons, 29 yards up the middle. If you guys watched episode one, he of course scored the first touchdown in program history as Goddard looks for a touchdown. He rolls to the outside and it's a two yard touchdown rolling out to his non-throwing side. And of course, putting the outlaws back up on the board before the half. 14 seconds to go and likely Ozark will hold that lead 24-17 at halftime. Love to see it, we played pretty well. The defense has to step up here. Now the third quarter, Patterson has all types of time but he goes down again. Our defensive line is getting to him. That time it was the defensive tackle, Simeon Petty. As that pass is knocked down by Blankenship on third down and the Howlers will punt. Taking back over is Goddard now. He's rolling out, looking for an option, trying to get out of bounds, but the ball is on the ground. Picked up by Mosby. Mosby, of course, ex-Tipton hotel manager. Shout out to all of you guys watching the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody back in the days. It's first and 10, handoff to Hubbard. He's unbelievably open. The blocks are incredible. Mark Fenner brings him down from behind, but he picks up 40 yards without even being close to being touched. First and goal, handoff goes to Coles, and he is untouched as well. Picks up three yards and the touchdown. The Howlers making it look too easy on our defense, tying things up at 24. Here's the outlaw again, with maybe the worst spin move in history, but it works out to perfection. Returns it for 40 yards to the 38, but unfortunately we could not get anything going on offense, and we will punt back to Butler. Trying to make somebody miss, but the outlaw is there for the tackle. Pedro Goddard got off to a great start. Has been less than amazing here in the second half, obviously. Only been a couple of attempts. Had one drive. Didn't work out well. Bad drives happen. 
as Patterson will go play action. Dial it up for Coles, who's making his paint now in the passing game. A 25-yard catch. I believe that was his third of the game. Now third and inches. A handoff goes to the fullback. That's Sam Gore. Maybe a relative of Frank Gore. Either way, he's goring us right up the middle on third down. That was tough. But Patterson, read option, takes it himself. He gets right at the goal line. The Howlers are destroying our defense. First and goal now from the one. Patterson throwing, and it's picked off by Lightning McQueen. Rory Lightning McQueen with the interception. Nothing but green grass in front of him. ka -chow. Rory McQueen. Lightning McQueen with the pick six of the five. End zone touchdown. And it's a new NCAA record. 98 yards to the house for Lightning McQueen. Looking like he was on the racetrack. The old record was by, uh, from a California Golden Bear. It was an 80-yard return, and we have extended this by 18. So this random program in Louisiana for some reason, that's where this team builder dynasty download is from, Louisiana, even though that's not where the Ozarks are from, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you guys from the area can correct me as Patterson pitches out to Charles, and he has a lot of room. No one can tackle him. Can someone bring him down? Benjamin Charles. Sounds like he should be knighted or something. Sir Benjamin Charles, I don't know. But this no, this nobody nothing school from Louisiana, Ozark State now holds an NCAA record. Unbelievable. As it's unbelievable, Kevin Coles continues to gash our defense. But that likely will be the end of the third quarter. It's a fantastic slugfest here in Louisiana from dual field. But we are narrowly edging the competition. 31-24 after three. But here is the start of the fourth quarter, third and goal. Patterson takes it himself. He might be able to get in the end zone, but he can't. Met at the goal line by the safety, Antoine Watts, his seventh tackle of the game. Great game from the strong side there for Antoine Watts, but it does bring up fourth and goal. Four down territory, of course, for the Howlers. Patterson drops back to throw. Looking to run now, and down he goes. Sacked again. Our defense can't do anything unless they're backed up on their own goal line. Perfect defense from the Outlaws. Here's a read option now. And Goddard has nothing but room. Goddard trying to outrun a defensive tackle and a cornerback, but the cornerback brings him down from behind. But Pedro Goddard leading this Outlaw team to victory. Never stop. Keep shooting. Keep firing. The Ozark State Outlaws are killing it. And Pedro Goddard is a huge reason why. Put him on the Heisman list already. The Heisman watch. Vote for Pedro. But it does bring up second and ten. Just over three minutes to play. Goddard throws deep for the tight end. It's Jake Rodriguez over the top. 42 yards and a touchdown. And that could be the dagger. Ozark will go up 38-24. What a beautiful touch pass from the quarterback. Vote for Pedro. I'm telling you. He's a Heisman winner. Sure, we're 0-2. Looking for our first win in program history as we bring down Patterson again. This time, it's Trey Washington with the sack. Ozark is stepping up. 2.43 to play. Patterson out of the empty set. And he faces pressure again. Is that not a fumble? Barely gets it off, and it brings up third and 15 for the Howlers. Patterson to throw. Facing pressure, but he throws wide open for Williams. Bring him down, Blankenship. And that was Antoine Watts, and it's Burdett again. I don't, I still don't even know what to do with that name. As this time, a huge hit. It's Antoine Watts again delivering the blow. Second and two for the Howlers. Looking for anything. They find Murphy, and he cuts back and scores. How does Justin Murphy get in the end zone there? How is he not tackled? Let's take a look at the replay. And... I mean, it's a good ball, but he makes it oh, an unbelievable move just to turn around. The last thing the defensive back was expecting, but who but Lightning McQueen, ka -chow! Recovering the onside kick. And the Ozark State Outlaws are just a minute away from their first win in program history. Goddard takes it himself. The Howlers is gonna call one of their final timeouts there. That is their final. And here's another read option for Pedro Goddard. He's to the outside. Makes a great cut. And Goddard will go to the end zone. 34 yards to the house for Pedro Goddard. One for one for seven yards on this drive. But he doesn't have to use his arm. He uses his legs. 
and makes the Howlers pay. That likely is the real dagger. 45-31 Outlaws, just a minute to play, but here is Golden. And Keith Golden is off to the races again. How are we letting this happen? Finally brought down from behind, but this Sunbelt team, the Outlaws, can't seem to finish. Patterson throws it in the back of his offensive lineman there. We're catching breaks. Third and goal for the Howlers. Patterson, again at a shotgun. Back in the end zone. It's a touchdown for Keith Golden. Unbelievable. Clay Patterson having a pretty good game. Four touchdowns and an interception. That interception could be the difference. Here's the onside kick. It's recovered by Karan Kirkpatrick. And that will be the game. The Outlaws going to go into victory formation and get their first win in program history. An unbelievable game versus an FCS school, but we have managed to come out victorious. We have managed to come out on top. And Pedro Goddard doesn't even have to kneel it a second time as the Outlaws have finally won their first game. We couldn't beat Bama. I know everyone expected a win over the Crimson Tide and we couldn't do it. But Pedro Goddard, what a game today. Accounting for almost every single Outlaw yard today. I think it was what? Our running back, Darren, whatever his last name is, he doesn't matter. He's so bad with 24 yards. Pedro Goddard leading the way, and that is an ESPN Classic game. We'll see where it ranks all time for my numbers and what the score is. I'll be sure to show you guys that. But that is the ball game. Such an exciting one. 45-38, and I am so happy to get our first win in program history here in week four, game number three. Sure, it came against an FCS school. It's Darren Maxwell. But a win is a win, and our first one is an important one. Pedro Goddard over 120 yards on the ground. Jake Rodriguez was a favorite today with a touchdown. Also had a short one to the true freshman, Roland Francisco. And we swarmed today. Absolutely swarmed. Ton of sacks. We got Mark Heath Ralph. What an unbelievable first name. It's like saying Mark Heath with a terrible lisp. Mark Heath Ralph. I love it. Trey Washington with a sack. Simeon Petty. Byron Fulton. Of course, Lightning. Rory McQueen with a sack. Colt 45. Colt Nash with a sack. Also had an interception for Lightning McQueen. Beautiful stuff from Rory there. The junior out of Adamsville, Alabama. No forced fumbles, but that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.